uh, hi everyone uh, in this video we will talk about capital budgeting process so if a company has two different projects and they need to make a decision about the profitability of one project versus other so what is the systematic way to go for it so there are two approaches one is uh, net present value and the other approach is IRR which is internal rate of return so uh, suppose now we have a company uh, which uh, has a project uh, with the initial uh, investment of one thousand dollars and then um, after uh, uh, one year this company will result in a cash flow of five hundred dollars and then the second year it will have a cash flow of again of five hundred dollars and then third year again it will have a cash of flow of five hundred dollars so this is first year this is second year and this is third year so uh, what we'll do is we will look at the cost of the capital so cost of capital is that how much uh, does it take for company to borrow the money so borrow the money or get it from the investor so for example uh, if uh, uh, i'm talking about a project in which i'm taking all the thousand dollar from a bank and the bank is charging me 10 percent interest so i will say that my cost of capital is 10 uh, percent and uh, if i'm i have a partner and i have to give him a five percent interest rate uh, for uh, or he expect 5% uh, return uh, on his uh, money he invested then I will say the cost of capital is 5% so suppose uh, my cost uh, uh, of capital uh, is equal to R so in this case uh, I will calculate the net present value of the future cash flows so net present value will be equal to so my first cash flow will be of five hundred dollars so i will divide it by one plus r so this will give me the present value of that five hundred dollars which will come after one year and then after two years i can say one by r whole square and then for third year i will say five hundred divided by one plus r okay. so this will be my net present value for the, uh, the for the investment I have made in the beginning so based on that suppose if this net present value uh, is uh, uh, suppose uh, now let's assume R is equal to 0 so if I assume R is equal to 0 in this case the net present value will be $1,500 so uh, based on uh, this uh, amount I can say that uh, I have invested thousand dollars and it gave me back fifteen hundred dollars uh, after the completion of the project so the net present value is fifteen hundred dollars for that thousand dollars I invested so my total profit will be five hundred dollar so I think this project is beneficial so I should go for this project now the second approach same uh, uh, like the second approach in this case will be the IRR so in case of IRR, uh, instead of using uh, uh, cost of capital, I will calculate uh, like how much percentage of return did I get on my investment. So in this case, I will equate my initial investment, which is of thousand dollar, and I will equate it to five hundred divided by one plus R plus five hundred divided by one plus R square plus 500 divided by 1 plus r cubed and then I will use a financial calculator to calculate the value of r and then suppose uh, uh, so let's call it r dash because this is a uh, internal rate of return so I'll call it r dash and then r is my cost of capital So now in this case I can compare R versus R dash and then if R is less than R dash then I should take the project 
and if r is greater than r dash then i will not take this project so there are two different approaches uh, which can be used to consider a project so we have i r r and a net present value so each method has its own uh, advantage and disadvantage so for example uh, if i have an investment is equal to 100 dollars and then i'm uh, the net present value of the project is equal to 50 dollars then i'll say that okay uh, it's a good uh, project because i'm investing 100 dollars and i will be making 50 dollars out of it but if so i will say this is a good project but if the investment is equal to 1 million dollars and then my net present value is equal to 50 dollars then in this case i will not invest 1 million dollar to just get a profit of 50 dollars so i will not take this project so the the problem with the net present value method is that if we just compare two projects with the net present value i will not be able to differentiate between the two projects and both of the projects will look similar to me according to net present value approach so therefore uh, the another uh, way to go for it is a irr in which you get the total rate of return and that is uh, the another approach i hope this tutorial will help thank you